Hello, welcome to Robot Operating System for Beginners. In this session, we will be discussed about how to make turtle boat rotate left or right. The required code is provided in the description from Ross Wiki. One can use it for the practice. Let's get started. Uh, the first, we are importing the Rospy, and at the same time, to give the velocity commands, we are importing twist command from geometry underscore messages dot message. Okay. So the twist we can get from this uh, libraries, okay? And if you are doing uh, Python files first time, we can use this code. Otherwise, you can comment it. It's not required. And we are specifying the pi constant value here. Later, I am defining my objective. Uh, my objective name is rotate. So here I am just creating a node, okay? So this node name should be unique, okay? So in turtle sim, if you are creating, uh, I'm just giving node name as robot underscore cleaner. Okay. And uh, anonymous is equal to true. That's what it will keep on assigning the unique IDs. So subscriber can get the data from that unique ID. So that's why I'm just giving anonymous is equal to true. Later, I'm using the publish command. Okay. In this publish, I'm using the topic name called turtle one underscore command underscore velocity. Okay. So this one, uh, by using this one, we can give the velocity commands. Uh, we already observed six commands are there, three in linear, three in angular. Uh, it's a 2D plane so that it will take only X direction uh, motion and for rotation angular motion, it will take the Z direction as reference. Okay, uh, so we can use the uh, this command for publish the data and later this is for receiving the input data from the user. Okay, so for making the ro robot, uh, for making the rotation of the robot, what we will do actually, we have to specify the speed of rotation and we have to specify the distance, okay, how much distance it should rotate, okay. So for user convenience, we are giving the data in terms of degrees, okay. Already we are observed in total sim, it will take the angles in terms of radians, but our convenience, we are giving the input data in terms of degree per second. Later we have to do the conversion, okay. So speed in degree per second and angle is in terms of degree. And you can specify whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay. So this is a user interface. Now you can give the input data. After that first step, what we need to do, the speed and the angle, we have to convert into radians. Okay. So turtle sim will un uh, understood only the angles in terms of radians. So I'm just converting my angles from degrees to radians. Later, um, these are all linear components will become zero. Why? Because uh, phi components will become zero. Uh, these three are related to linear. We are not making the robot move in forward and backward direction. We are not doing that. So that's why all terms will become zero, especially this X term will become zero. It will give the uh, linear uh, movement to the robot. So I'm making this to zero. Why? Because the aim of the Python code is we have to rotate the robot. That's it. Okay. So for rotating the robot, Z plays an important role here for Z angular movement. I'm specifying one loop here. Okay, conditional loop. In this, what I'm doing, as you observed in input, we, we can give the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Because of the same, I'm just making here loop. So if it is clockwise, generally it is in negative negative signs. Okay, minus absolute values I will take. Else, else in the sense, if it is in anti-clockwise, it will consider as positive. Okay, so this loop is only for deciding uh, whether your robot should be moving left uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, so for that, uh, this code will be um, provided here. Okay, so this is for input data and this is for converting degrees to uh, radians and this we are making all terms are zero except angular velocity with respect to Z direction and this piece of code is helpful to make uh, um, clockwise or anti-clockwise. So next we are defining the time. Okay. So here, the whenever uh, the code will start, it will specify the initial time t naught. Now this is the uh, loop, all right? This is the main loop. Okay. So what we are specifying here, it will publish the velocity. When it will publish the velocity, your current angle should be less than the relative angle. Okay. So before starting the code, I am specifying my current angle is equal to zero. Okay. And user will give the relative angle. Let us say I have just given 90 degrees. Okay. So now this 90 degrees is greater than zero. So it will comes under this loop. Okay. Why? Because zero is less than 90. The loop is true. Uh, 
then it it will start executing these three lines. Okay. So what it will it will first publish the velocity so that it will start rotating. The robot is start rotating, and at that time with instantaneous time will be calculated. Okay. So that time t1 minus t0. Okay. This is the time difference. So this will be helpful, right? So if you are multiplying with the angular speed, we can able to get the ang current angle. Okay, you know that current angle is uh, angular speed is equal to current angle divided by change in time. So this change in time I have just taken to the right hand side. So this is a formula. Based on that, what will happen? Current angle keep on updating as the time changes. The current angle is also changes slowly. It is increasing from zero to five, ten. Once if it is reaches to the user input angle, that is a ninety degrees. Now it will terminate from this loop. Okay, whenever it is terminating from this loop, I am forcingly stop. I am forcefully stopping the robot. So by directly assigning my z angular velocity is zero. Okay, now it will uh, robot spin will make this in loop iteratively. It will uh, go through this complete program. Okay, this is the main class uh, we just defined here. So first, what you will do is just switch off this uh, line numbers, toggle line numbers. And then you can copy this one right up to the pass. You can copy. Okay. So at this location, at this same location, you create one empty document, and you can name it as rotate. Okay. Dot py. So after that, just control V, paste your code. Don't change any indentation. If you make any uh, indentation mistake, it will throw the error. Okay. Press Control S. Okay. I'm just closing the code. No need to change anything. So I have a rotate file in my directory. So now open a terminal in from this current directory. Okay. So you are in the folder where you are having forward uh, all these four Python files. Okay. Just make right click on this, open in terminal, and here first uh, we will write ROS core. Okay. So let us run our ROS core, ROS master. Next, this will be busy uh, so that we cannot make any uh, additions in this terminal. You can minimize that particular one, and you just open new terminal. Okay. So in this new terminal, we can type ros run turtle sim space turtle sim underscore node. Okay. So uh, we will open the turtle sim simulator. Okay. The command is ros run space turtle sim Space turtle sim underscore no. Okay. So this one will open. Um, so turtle sim simulator will be opened. Now let me increase my font size. So now uh, the, this one will be uh, busy in this one. Okay, we can minimize this one to open new uh, new terminal. Right in this new terminal, we will execute this Python file. Okay. So just now I have just opened my ROS master, and second one is I just open uh, Turtle Simulator. Okay. After that, one more terminal is open. Python space. Your file name is rotate. Dot py. Okay. So when you run this one, so here input speed. So I can give my input speed is um, five five degree per second, for example, five degree per second, and I have to move a distance of ninety degrees. Okay, let me enter ninety, and I'll specify yes that would be in clockwise. So press enter uh, one and enter. Now you can see the turtle sim it is moving very slowly with five degree per second. And it it start moving from zero to ninety. Okay, so once it reaches to the ninety degrees, it will stop rotating. Okay, now now it is ended, right? So now here we can press Control C. It is in spin, so that we can press Control C. And let me execute the file again with a higher sp speed. Okay, now this time I will select thirty uh, six degrees. 
and I want to move 180 degrees, and it should be an anti-clockwise, so that I'll give zero. So now we can observe the robot is moving in anti-clockwise direction with 180 degrees, right? Fine. I hope this video is helpful. In next tutorial, we will discuss about go to goal concept, and that brings us to the end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for future updates. This is Srinivas signing off.